Welcome to channel 42. My name is Wilma and today I invite you to shop along with me as I catch the bus to the furthest of four stores that I want to go to today. It'll drop us off just behind store number one and from store number one we're going to walk across the parking lot which takes a whole minute to store number two and then from there to store number three which is four or five minutes across what is arguably the busiest intersection in the county. And from store number three, it's just around the corner of the building to number four. From there, it's about a kilometer to walk home. We'll do the first half of that kilometer at a fast pace with some zippy music to help it pass. And then we'll amble along the river in what is, of course, my, and I hope our favorite stretch. As I was editing the tape, a number of things came to mind. The first of all, it's small wonder that we usually drive from store to store because this part of town, these strip malls and such are really not conducive to pedestrian traffic, certainly not the way downtown is. And that's one of the things I really, really miss when I do this kind of shopping trip. You can walk as fast between the two first two stores as you can drive. If if someone were to walk from the first door to the first door to the second door, they'd arrive about the same time as somebody who was pulling their car out, driving over and parking it. But it's not just laziness. I think it's that we make these malls just so uninhabitable for pedestrians. There's a number of factors. First of all, they're dull. There's a lot of dumpsters in them. How much garbage do we make? The answer is a lot. Accessibility is something of a problem too. The first store of course had those nice motion sensing sliding doors. The second one had a button which opened doors. But the third and fourth were the standard double heavy duty plate glass doors. Two rows which meant it was just about impossible to get through with a walker and I included a bit of my struggles with them just for the heck of it. But when all is said and done, it was a beautiful day for a walk. Sunny, just the right temperature. I had a wonderful time. I was out for two or three hours by the time I got home. It was a thoroughly enjoyable time. And so I hope that you will find it just as enjoyable. And maybe it's intriguing and you might have some input on what you think about strip malls as opposed to shopping downtown, which is my favorite way to shop, I admit. So enjoy. I certainly did, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.